Americans have always believed in second chances. But for many, a criminal conviction remains a barrier to starting a new chapter in life. When someone has paid their debt to society, we should allow them to move on to a brighter future. Hi, I'm Representative Roger Goodman of the 45th Legislative District. In this good minute, we'll talk about the Clean Slate Act, a bill that I'm helping to shepherd through the legislature that gives people with criminal records from a long time ago a second chance at success in life. Having a criminal conviction on your record has a terrible prejudicial consequence, severely limiting opportunities for housing, education, employment, and professional licensing. That's why many convictions can be vacated after someone serves their sentence, pays their fines and fees, and lives crime-free for several years. Only certain crimes can be vacated, not the most serious like rape, murder, and armed robbery. But those who are able to get their criminal records vacated have an easier time finding housing or finding a job. In addition, people who have had their convictions vacated have a much lower reoffense rate. It truly is a second chance. Unfortunately, the current process for getting a conviction vacated requires hiring a lawyer and can cost thousands of dollars. Most people with a criminal conviction simply don't have the means to get their record cleared. This has created a two-tiered system where those with money can get a second chance, but those without money are out of luck. As chair of the House Public Safety Committee, I'm moving a significant piece of bipartisan legislation through that will automatically vacate convictions of people who are eligible. The Clean Slate Act, House Bill 2793, requires the courts to review convictions and automatically vacate them if a person has served their entire sentence, successfully completed community supervision, paid their monetary obligations, and not committed another crime. This will allow people who have paid their debt to society and changed their life a second chance, regardless of whether they're rich or poor. The Clean Slate Act will now be considered by the full House, and I'm hopeful that we will be able to pass this major criminal justice reform measure. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and look for more Good Minutes coming soon.